Hey there, welcome to uh, Back to School Life for English 4A. Uh, my name is Jeff Wasserman, um, and I am really excited to be working with, uh, with these students this year. It's a really, really great group. We've had a good time so far, um, and I'm looking forward to pushing them and challenging them and, and really seeing what their limits are um, in terms of their academics, uh, their intellectual development, um, social emotional development. Um, I'm really trying my hardest to build a warm and uh, you know, supportive community in the classroom, but also one where students are comfortable uh, taking risks academically and trying out some new things. Um, let me uh, take you very quickly through what this class looks like, how I would like to run things. Um, you know, I invite you to email me at any time. My email address is right here. It's jwasserman at whrhs.org. You'll see that again later on in the presentation, but with any questions, any comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, Okay, so this is an accelerated um, senior English class. We are really, really, really getting into deep discussions about the literature. We are going um, going deep on aesthetics. We're going we're looking at structure, um, and I'm really trying to help the students discover what it means to to live a literary life. What does it mean to be a reader, to be a writer, to be a consumer, a creator? How do we interact with text throughout our lives? Um, so that's really the um, you know, the work of this class. It's all the kinds of, of assessments you would expect, tests, projects, papers. Um, students just finished writing a, uh, a paper about the first uh, short story unit that we did this year. Um, they wrote a comparison essay about um, uh, At the Round Earth's Imagined Corners by Lauren Groff and um, A Good Man is Hard to Find by Flannery O'Connor and looking for um, points of similarity in the author's craft in both of those uh, pieces. So now we are into our poetry, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, so homework policy is the same as it's been um, throughout your students' time here. You can find that on the departmental website. Um, and I really do hope that students will take advantage of my approachability and you know, reach out to me with any questions or concerns. I think this is really good practice for when they go to college next year, if that's where they're headed. Um, you know, to approach professors during office hours and things like that. So, you know, trying to build up that self-confidence and self-advocacy. Um, I think that's a very important skill for young adults to have. Um, here are the books we're going to be looking at this year. Um, I'll start sending some of them home soon. Um, our first uh, novel unit will be coming uh, after we finish this short poetry unit that we're in right now. I like to start the year um, with units that look at very short text, short stories, poems, just to sharpen those analytical and writing skills. And then we build into reading longer pieces, um, both together and independently. Um, I will often run two books simultaneously, one that we work on as a class, one that I'm expecting the students to read on their own, and then we're gonna bring them back together at a, at a specific time um, to help build stamina and focus and those sort of intertextual comparison skills. Okay. Um, we work on a total point system. Um, you know, assignments are worth a particular amount of points. Students earn X number of points from within there, and that's how grades are determined. Um, it usually results in higher grades uh, than averaging, to be perfectly honest, unless you're missing a lot of work, in which case your grade's going to suffer. Um, okay, let me move my head out of the way so I can tell you about the technology. Um, obviously, Technology has become a really crucial part of the classroom in the past uh, year and a half. Um, I have always been very comfortable using technology in the classroom. Um, this is, you know, the sort of committee work I like to do, and I like to stay on top of things this way. So um, I use Google Classroom extensively. Um, this is where students are going to turn in their work. Um, this is how I'm going to, you know, communicate with them, give announcements, that kind of stuff. Um, you can get access to Google Classroom as a parent or guardian. And you can get a digest of the work that's been assigned and your students' performance on that work. Um, you can get it as a daily or a weekly um, digest. So that's worth signing up for. Uh, I'll show you our website in a second, but you know, again, email is always the easiest way to reach me. Um, our class website, here's the URL for it. Um, it's also, uh, you can find links to this in my email signature. You can also find links to this um, throughout Google Classroom. Um, this is what the students see uh, when they're in the classroom. I have one of these pages for um, really every activity that we do, every every lesson. Um, let me show, there I am, I'm back. Um, and I just wanna show you this. 
So at the top of each page, there's a link to sign up for extra help that will take students right to my calendar. They can sign up for time with me and I get a notification on my phone saying that somebody wants extra help at that time and I make myself available. Um, each day, um, you know, we'll have, I'll have this up on the smart board and I'll, I'll distribute it to the students as well. We've got our, you know, objective, our essential question, the text we're working with, the standards that we're trying to meet um, and the understanding we need to get. And then it's got instructions. So this is from uh, last week when students were starting uh, their writing project about the short stories. Um, but you'll see it has the instructions, it has links to resources, it has the homework, um, and these things are available. This is good for, um, I think for students who are in the classroom, you know, they can work in a more self-paced uh, way. Um, but also if a student has to miss class for the day, if they're sick or they're traveling or whatever, they can, they can see what, what they missed. Um, the other advantage of this is that I know a lot of students like to have an outline of what's happening in class each day, you know, some kind of class notes, and, and this is basically that. Um, they can use this as the basis for, for their note taking or um, for their planning or, or whatever. So this is a really good uh, resource, I think, for students and for parents to get used to using. That's really all I've got to share with you for right now. Um, again, I'm having a really good time getting to know these students. It's a really, really cool class. Um, I can't tell you how much I missed having everybody in the classroom. Um, and I'm really taking advantage of that this year and, and, and really trying to make things as exciting um, and surprising and different as, as possible. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out to me with any questions. Um, feel free to email me. And um, I'm really looking forward to hearing from you and to working with you and your students this year um, and just making this as, you know, just a really successful and fantastic year. Thank you so much. and. Uh, have a great rest of your back to school night. I hope you enjoy it. Take care.